Hey guys, my name is Ali and I am a data analyst manager working in Oslo, Norway. This is the fifth video in my series on how you can create a data analyst portfolio from scratch. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how we can take all of the elements that we have created in the previous videos and combine them into a data analyst portfolio online. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the different elements and what they are. And then I will talk a little bit about WordPress, which is a content management system. And the last point is to create the actual portfolio. The first element that we will include are the user stories. I think that is a nice thing to start off the portfolio with. And then we'll move on. We want to showcase some SQL and some skills in terms of cleansing and transformation. So I want to include some of the SQL skills that we made in that we made in uh, the SQL uh, SQL Studio Management Studio. And then I'm going to include a picture of uh, of the data model from Power BI. I think that's a good next step in the stories. And then of course we want to conclude the portfolio with a picture of the of the dashboard, which links to the actual dashboard which we made public in the previous video. So the end product is going to look something like this. So I want this to be something that you link to from your resume or from your cover, le cover letter and the first page you come to is the actual portfolio. If you have more examples, then of course you can have a menu under portfolio, but this is where it's going to come to. So, so all of this is on WordPress and I'll get to that in one second, but I just want to show you guys the different elements and where I put them and then I will, I will assemble it later for you guys. So these are the pictures that I showed you guys and they are going to be put into kind of a gallery and notice I only have one page on this website. If you want to add more, you can do that, but I decided to only have one because I want this to be, if you go to this site, you're going to look at the work that I have created and I want it to be structured as a story. So the first thing are some pictures, which gives a preview of the story that we're going to see below. And then as I said, we're going to include some of the user stories. I've written a little bit of text over here, but some of the user stories. Then I have the data cleansing and transformation, the SQL examples. So you can see I have the dim calendar examples, the customers, products, internet sales, and then all of this is going to become a data model. So this is all a story that a you know someone who are who's interested in your skills can kind of follow this story, and at the end it will end up in a sales dashboard. And then of course, if you click that dashboard, it's gonna take you to the dashboard that we have made public. So I think that makes a nice <clears throat> makes a nice story. Excuse me. So before we look at how I actually created this, let's just have a quick word about WordPress. And one second, that is my YouTube channel. Hey, if you want to subscribe, go ahead. Uh, that wasn't supposed to happen, but while we are there, if you want to subscribe to my channel, this is a good moment. Um, if we go back here and if we go to my sites, um, if, you, if you don't know what WordPress is, it is basically a management, uh, content management uh, system or site. And you can create you can create your own site. It's free. It doesn't cost anything, and it's quite easy to use. I'm not a web designer, but I managed to make what I think is a decent looking looking portfolio. So if I were to do this from scratch, um, I would have to go to switch site and then add a new site, and I can try and walk through this. But like I said, if you want to know a lot more about WordPress, and of course you can read up on it, but basically it is a kind of a blog site which has been made quite where it's quite easy to make websites. Um, and then uh, I think it's quite easy to kind of design because they have these blocks and I'll show you guys in a second. But my site is called, so I'll call this test portfolio walkthrough. Then go continue. And then we'll just skip the, this for now. So if I remember back, the because what you can do is, as you see here, you can, uh, you can choose different themes and uh, or I choose different designs and I actually can't remember which one I chose right now but I'm just gonna choose one and then I'll find it later because I know how to find it so I'll just choose one then I need to pick a font pairing so I won't worry about that now I can show you guys how I did all this for now so custom domains I don't need any of this and I want to, you want to select there's there is a free version somehow free if you want to pay for it you can do that if you want if you want your actual domain name and you want to um, you want to pay for the fill features? Of course, go ahead. I'm just going to do this now so I can show you guys kind of how I built this. Um, so then you, you come into WordPress and now it's going to start to let you edit your pages. And let me go back here. So I'm going to go to this place and then uh, let me see if I can get this right. Go back here and then dashboard. Yes. Um, I like how I was so happy that I was right, even though I wasn't really sure. Um, so then I'm going to go to customize. And then what I did is I make, uh, I only have one page. So I'm going to make one page and I'm going to call it um, portfolio. So we can go to uh, menus and then primary. 
and then okay so we have something called home so navigation label I'm gonna name it portfolio and then I'm gonna save that so that is the only page that I have then which is good um, and before we move on let me find the theme that I used because I thought it was a good one and you can use the same one um, which one was it show all themes um, and then if we create free Maybe I should go back and look. Give me one second. Let me let me find it. So there we are. Now I find I, I found a theme. It's called Dara. So I'll just select that one, and then I will activate that. So activate this design. And then it will choose this design, and that is what I mean. It's quite nice. It's quite easy. You can find a design that you like, and then you will go and you will customize that. So let me show you guys how. I did that. So site identity here, you can type whatever you want it to be called. So I just named this test portfolio walkthrough um, tagline, you know, uh, portfolio for testing. Here you can type whatever you want, save changes, and then, you know, colors and background. And here you want to be smart because as I said, in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how we can use the same colors and the, the fonts in the resume and, the, and my CV, and it's going to come together real well as a nice package so select some colors that you like here and then in the next video I can show you guys how you can, guys can combine all this so I'm just gonna leave this as default I'm not gonna focus too much on the colors I chose if I go to this I keep going back to let me show you guys if I show you guys the one that I made I chose like a gray and a dark bluish which I think is nice and you'll see it all come together later but you can choose whatever you want What's important though is really it's really the, the build up of what is called pages because you see I'll go to the page which is originally called home and then um, this is how you kind of create the actual page so it's quite it's, it's a little bit like drag and drop you have these things called blocks so you can just type portfolio or uh, I believe I wrote data analyst Port data analyst project sales manager so let's write that data analyst project sales management and as you go down you're gonna find these blocks and I'm just gonna delete what is there from before because I want to add my own so let me see if I can get this remove block because what we're gonna do we're gonna add different blocks of content so you can do you can do whichever order you want to if you want to do the same order as I did that's fine I just need to remove all these blocks you can see I'm just removing a bunch of Content. Let me see if I can, can I get you? Yes. Remove. And at the end, I will start to kind of add blocks back in, which are the kind of blocks that we want to use. Why can't I just clear the whole thing altogether? Contact, remove. Let's just remove all this. And I'm sure you can start with a fresh page if you want to. This is probably, like I said, I'm not a web designer. I'm not the world's best at WordPress. Okay. So now we're almost there. Bear with me, bear with me. Ugh. One more. There we are. Okay. So now you can see, you can start to add blocks. So the first thing that I added, I added a, the thing, you, you can add a bunch of different things. So what I added on top was a gallery. I believe it was a gallery. So you see here, it'll show you what kind of block you want. So we can do, uh, let's do masonry. So here you can upload the photos of your portfolio, which I think is a nice beginning of the story, a small preview of what we are going to create. So here you have different files. So you can see now I have added the first block and if you want to change if you see on the right side if you want to change you know you want large or extra large or you want to rounded corners or whatever you want you can add that as you go so that was the first step the next thing I added I added the, the user stories and some text about that um, so I'll just copy the text for now if you want to go in and read it you can do it I'm not gonna read it out loud um, so then actually I think I added a heading 
Actually, I, I, first I added a, s I added a line, a separator. Sorry, not the best at this. And then I added a header. I believe yes, heading yes. It was business request and user user stories. And then I believe I just copy pasted the table from Word in there. So that is the first part. You can clean it up if you want. If you want different text, you know, there's you know however you want it. Um, so if we think about, you know, you have to think about you're trying to take whoever you are showing this to on a story to show different different skill sets. So the next thing is we're gonna add another separator, and I'll go wide line. And then the next thing was some um, data cleansing and SQL. So let's do that. Let's just copy this. I will add a heading, which is there. And then we have the text. And then the block that I used for the next part let me see if I can, was, I believe I used something called, yes, code, which gives it kind of like, you can see a code look. So then I can just copy this code, paste it in. Then once again, if you want to format it on the right side, I believe you can go here. You know, if you want smaller size, small, medium, large, however, however you want it. So we're just recreating the story, you know, first user stories is what they told us that they wanted. Um, SQL statement to get the data that we need, okay? And uh, I don't need to add all the tables, you guys get the, get the point. Um, next point is data model. So then I will go here, once again, um, separator, wide line. So you can see it, it's quite easy to create the web page with these blocks. You just kinda, when you get, a, when you get your hands into it, it's, it's quite intuitive. Data model. And because it was a picture, I'll look for actually gallery, upload. I'll do data model. Then it'll show an upload of my data model. So then I have that. And the last step was really just uh, was really just Power BI. So I'll add another separator. Then I will add a wide line. And I try to embed the dashboard in it, but I think because it's the free version, I'm not entirely sure if there is a block which will let you do that, but I know that if you if you bought this and you hosted it on your own website, then you could do that. And I think that would be like kind of the, the best way of doing it. If you can embed the dashboard here and they can play around. So I actually used the image, I used the image uh, block for this. So I'll use an image, upload, dashboard. There you go, there's the, the link icon. And here you're gonna put in the link which you got from Power BI or Tableau or whatever you're using to visualize this, wherever you're putting it online. You're gonna enter that there, and then you can check up open in new tab. So when they click that link, then it will uh, it will take them to the dashboard. And the last thing you have to do is you have to press update. And then if you haven't launched your site, you also have to launch it. Um, so then you know choose domain, um, free, continue. Because it's a paid thing, they're gonna try and get you to pay. So just, if you wanna use the free version, just make sure you go for the free version, and then launch your site. And then shortly, this should be online. So then you can go to visit site. So there we are, now we have the portfolio. It is online and consists of the element that you want to include in your portfolio, and it's ready for you to share with someone else. Now, of course, if you wanna do this in a different order, that is up to you. If you wanna use different fonts or different colors, that is also totally up to you. You can shape this and kind of make this focus on what it is that you are trying to showcase according to the jobs that you are applying for or whatever skill set it is that you are trying to showcase. So there you go, now you have a data analyst portfolio online which you can use to showcase your skill set or when you are applying for jobs. I'm gonna make one more video where I show you guys how you can take the look and feel of the portfolio and apply it to your resume and your cover letter and then you will have a total package which you can use when you're looking for jobs. If you have any comments about what I've done in this video, then leave that in the comment section. Other than that, if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos on this series or you want to see more videos about data and analytics, then subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.